Hello, everyone, and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, Ivorian Spice, back out again with another match reaction, guys. And it's not a good match reaction. First of all, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. For those who are watching, if you want to contribute to the channel, you can un always contribute to the channel via the link description, of course, via PayPal. And of course, always join us on a Monday night around 8 p.m. for the catch up this Monday. Of course, where you can show your contribution by sending your super touch. But guys, let's get straight into it because I am not in the mood. You're not in the mood, you Manchester United fans. It is Manchester United 1, Middlesbrough 1, Manchester United knocked out the FA Cup, the fourth round of the FA Cup. You know, we was there laughing at Arsenal getting knocked out in the third round, of course, the holders. And then we followed the following round, getting knocked out in the fourth round for everyone to laugh at us. It's been two damn weeks we've had a football break. We had a Premier League break. And then the first game that gets shown on national TV around the world is Manchester United versus Middlesbrough. And guess what we do? We fuck up. We let you down. We're a laugh. It's not. We allow the ops to laugh at us, you know. I saw troops posting Elanga and Mr. Penny here. Hurt my heart. Everyone laughing at us. But it is what it is. It's just so damn piss-taken. And it's annoying, guys. Manchester United not had the FA Cup. We ain't going to win anything. If you ever thought about winning trophies yet, our chances of winning the trophy, the last chances was the FA Cup. And Manchester United never won it. Never, go, not, not, never going to win it. The Champions League is a myth. Finishing fourth in the, in the Premier League is a myth as well, guys. I am so damn concerned. But this game, this game, the players let us down. What's more? Missing good opportunities in that game. Ronaldo missing the penalty. And I'm about to go into the game. Because I thought the game overall, Manchester United was piss pants in terms of converting their chances. We had chances, guys. You guys do agree. We had chances. Ronaldo had a chance. Bruno Fernandes of them all had a chance. Several opportunities, you know. There was a, an opportunity where he thought he was offside. And he could have just smashed it in in the top-hand corner. But he didn't. A, another one where Middlesbrough made a mistake during the match. He could have finished it, but he hit the post. Bruno Fernandes, it is also on you guys. Let me know what your thoughts on the match was, who your man of the match was, and also who your donkey of the match was. Because that match itself, which when Man United in the first half, when he started off decently, we, we started off decently, guys. We had a couple of opportunities. Everything was looking good for us. Um, Pogba himself got a penalty for us. Pogba on his return, penalty, wonderful. And then Ronaldo stepped up. He was like, oh, yeah, I'm confident. Ronaldo was cool. He was scored. Oh, hell no. He missed. He missed wide. He missed wide. It was so unusual. And I was like, what? Have we come from sea to bulls all of a sudden? Because it felt like that. Match United not scoring that penalty. Eventually, I thought to myself, listen, we're creating opportunities. Marcus Rashford having opportunities. Match United opportunities. Eventually, it laid down to Jaden Sancho with Bruno with a fantastic pass game. First of all, big up Scott McSauce woo, with that block. Passing the ball straight to Bruno and the Fernandes to find Sanchez in a nice ball. Sanchez to finish it off, of course, with a slight deflection. But Manchester United to lead by 1-0 in the first half. Second half, Manchester United again. Great opportunity. Wonderful. I love it. It's beautiful. And then, and then you're thinking, surely you can make it 2-0. Not screwing our chances, not screwing our opportunities. Manchester United... <laughs> No. And then again, Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough out of all those people. The goals you can score. You know what? I'm so tired of the handball rules. Someone needs to tell me exactly what the handball is. Because I was convinced, just like you guys, you guys were convinced that it was a handball. That goal shouldn't be allowed. But football DJs, I just don't know, man. The rules. They just keep changing the rules. It's like going out with your girlfriend. You know, your girlfriend, all of a sudden, she always changes the rules the rules. She switches it up, you know. You can't talk to me like that, you know, but she can talk to you like that. You know what I mean? Like, she can treat you like that, but you can't treat her like that. The rules always change, you know. You never win. But for us, we never win. Again, another VAR decision when it comes to an FA Cup. We lose. We snooze. They gave it to him. It was a handball, of, but they say if, if he handballed the ball and shot himself, it would be a handball. But because he handballed the ball and passed the ball to his, opposite, to his friend, for his friend to tap it in, 
it's considered a goal. Well, fuck you. Piss off. You make me sick. Middlesbrough equalised 1-1 for it to go full-time, especially with Bruno missing a big chance. Bruno Fernandez, Fernandez, you, you, you was absolute shit, you know. God, big trash. Garbage. But yeah, guys, 1-1 one, one extra time. Manchester United making the changes. You're thinking, oh, sweet. we'll get this. We'll win. We'll win this. We'll win this. We'll, we'll score going extra time. No, we did nothing. We made changes. Yeah, matter a little bit infective, effective as well. As as well. But still, 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 still. Manchester United go into penalties after a shit 30 minutes. And I was going to give you that match reaction after that game. But I was like, no way. Not on my Friday night. I'm too damn tired for this shit. Manchester United going into penalties. Everyone scoring a penalty. But the moment when Alanga stepped up and I was like, oh, I feel a miss. A young buck coming on. I thought Maguire would miss the penalty out if it was anyone. I thought it would be slabbed. Young buck come on. Look at his face. The run up wasn't right. Boom, he misses. He's crying. Manchester United get knocked out in the fourth round of the FA Cup. It's not like Middlesbrough can be, be celebrating about it because, whoa, he didn't save any penalties. Both pen, both keepers were rubbish. Henderson, rubbish. And people was like, he's not good at penalties. So Henderson was shit. He looked stupid, clumsy at times. But it is what it is. Manchester United knocked out FA Cup penalties. Disgrace, fourth round. We ain't winning shit. Pen players wise, they some of these players didn't do shit. Ronaldo was shit and horrible. Sanchez was the only, I'm sorry, Sancho was the only player that I would say that was doing something. They were they were challenging, going up on the opposition, you know, running on them, trying to go past them. Bruno, on the other hand, again, Bruno needs to start simplifying his games as well. These Hollywood passes need to stop. Someone needs to tell him, yo, bro, stop that shit. It don't work. Stop it. This is Manchester United, this thing, Sporting Lisbon or Lisbao, whatever you want to call it, Sporting Lisbao. It's none of that shit. This is Manchester United. You're a man. You do man things. Simplify your game and pass the ball at the right time. Not just do those stupid Hollywood things. That's, that, that's childish. This ain't, this ain't child Chester United. This is Manchester United. You need to get your acts right. As well, Pogba returning. Pogba had a quiet game, in my opinion. He really did the defense themselves as well with Varane and Maguire. I really want to see a Lindelof, Lindelof or Varane and Varane together because Maguire, I, 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 I can't take this. I can't take the slowness, the slow poke, and all the above that comes with Maguire. But he, he had a decent game as well. Henderson, I still don't know why you should be number one or why you're complaining about being number one. He doesn't deserve it, guys. Does he deserve it? Does Henderson deserve to be number one? Not really, because David here has been brilliant. He has been brilliant. Man of the match today, guys, I'm going to have to give it to Jaden Sancho because I thought Sancho was the only bright aspect of this game. Although he scored a goal, I'm going to have to give that to him. Don't give the match again. I keep giving it to him. It's the great one. It's the goal. It's Cristiano Ronaldo, guys. Another stinker missing the penalty that could have won us the game as well. And having a stinker, another one. Ronaldo on the Ragnick hasn't been firing. But you're firing under that scumbag previous manager, Wally Gunnar Solskjaer. Nah, I don't understand. Ragnick has a plan. He has tactics. You was comfortable playing freestyle football because they can just pass to you. The job was pass to Ronaldo, he'll score. And that's what it was. But nowadays, it's like short passes, you know, counter-attacking, you know, counter-attack presses, all that, all that kind of stuff. It's too much for you. Is that too much for you? You're not performing on the Ragnar. Ronaldo hasn't performed on the Ragnar. He's not getting the goals in, guys. He really isn't. He isn't at all. It is what it is. Manchester United fans went out. Don't think about top four. Get it out of your mind. Get it out. You start lowering your expectations these days because we're shit. We're rubbish. We're fucking garbage. And of course, again, Champions League, get it out of your mind. We might get knocked out by Atletico Madrid. You're telling me I've always expected you to be positive. Fuck that shit. Fuck being positive. I'm be a realist. Be a realist, guys. Because this is a joke. This is disgusting. This pisses me off. It has been. It's going to annoy you. We're going to have these up and down performances. And it's not going to be consistent until we get some, some rid of some of these players. 
these players are not good enough. And I've had enough. I've really had enough. Until the next game, guys. But this, guys, this has been your match reaction by uh, Warrior Spies. I do thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share because sharing I Warrior Spice has always been caring. And of course, for those who are new to the football fan app, make sure you download the football fan app and download. Download the, the link that's there on in the link description where you get 20 points to start off with as well. And then from there, you can you can post your own football content. Remember, it is a footballing content page. It's like Instagram, but just football content stuff made by the fans and for the fans only, guys. But remember to download your football fan app. The links are in the description. You, you click my link and you'll get 20 points. 20 coins, you start with 20 coins and build those coins and get yourself up there. You never know what those coins can lead up, lead to, guys, so you never know. But of course, guys, remember to keep it united. Remember to keep it red united. This is your boy, Everyone Spice. And remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share and comment. Let me know what you know. Let me know who your man and man match was and your dog in the match was. Peace out, guys, because I'm done. <laughs>